Good morning, still from southeastern Finland in Northern Europe. I continue still my video series on the selected historical events of specific years. Now it is time for 1929. Well, any serious student, researcher, and teacher of history knows one of the most principal events of 1929, although, of course, its seeds had been planted already during the uh, First World War. The New York stock market crash, which began in late October 1929 and which resulted in the drastic and sudden or quick drop of uh, the general share prices by some 50%, resulting in millions of dollars, US dollars of that time. Now it would probably be billions because of the inflation that has happened in the nine decades since that event. Uh, and in the collapse or bankruptcy of many companies, and because the United States had lent money during the uh, First World War, especially to Britain and France, to finance their war effort against Germany, and because Germany and various other countries had, to some extent, financed their war effort by printing more money. Uh, the result was this drastic uh, restructuring of the world economy, especially of many industrialized countries' economy. So many banks and other lending institutions and many uh, businesses, including companies and even corporations, either went bankrupt or had to drastically reduce their personnel and restructure their operations. And as a result, in the 1930s, many countries saw the emergence of uh, populist, anti-establishment and even anti-democratic parties and movements. Several European countries in the 1930s would become dictatorships or more dictatorial than they already had been before. Elsewhere in the world, um, some leaders who like the long-term Brazilian president, Mr. Getulio Vargas uh, blended populism, authoritarianism, and dictatorship with a semblance of democracy. Also, Mr. or President Kemal Atatürk of Turkey, in practice, governed uh, as a dictator despite the fact that there were regular parliamentary elections during his 15 year presidency in Turkey. And the Great Depression contributed indirectly to the start of the uh, official start of the Second World War a decade later. It also meant that various democracies, in order to bolster their uh, political and economic systems, adopted much more activist um, economic policies aimed at stabilizing the economy and the British economist John Maynard, Maynard Keynes, who would live on, until 1946, uh, proposed in his books and lectures that um, government should, during times of recession and especially depression, put money into the economy uh, by tax cuts, by spending programs, uh, by creating emergency work, uh, for those people who would otherwise be destitute and unemployed for years and would <clears throat> deliberately go into debt. And then, once the economy had recovered sufficiently, government should tighten the money supply, raise interest rates gradually, and then raise taxes gradually in order to stabilize the budget. Keynesianism would become, after especially the Second World War, the generally accepted mainstream uh, economic policy of most Western, meaning at that time Western and Northern European, uh, because, because Eastern Europe was communist for the most part, uh, North American and Australian and New Zealand uh, government's policy, until gradually in the 1970s and 1980s it would be uh, replaced by monetarism, called Reaganism then in uh, the United States and Thatcherism in Britain, for example. 
But let us look at the events of that year now more closely. It was another uh, so-called normal year or 365-day year. And in the Gregorian calendar, it began on Tuesday. Let's see now. Looking for the specific events, the timeline. Okay. On January the sixth, nineteen twenty nine. King Alexander of the Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes suspended his country's constitution. In June 1928, a Serb deputy had, during a session of the U Yugoslav parliament, shot several uh, deputies, killing one instantly and then fatally wounding another. The other uh, deputy who would succumb to his wounds uh, weeks later was Mr. Stepan Radic of the Croatian Peasant Party. When he, after he died in August 1928, uh, the Croat, uh, Croatian Peasant Party's members established their own national assembly, which rendered the Yugoslav national parliament largely useless. There had been during the first decade of the existence of this kingdom, um, constant tensions between especially the radical elements of Croat and Serb politicians over um, who would rule the country. Uh, the Croats and Serbs speak, uh, well, either similar or different variants of that dialectal continuum that during the uh, Cold War years used to be called the Serbo-Croatian language. In fact, the Serbian and Croatian languages are distinct but uh, largely mutually intelligible, at least for their educated speakers. Uh, Serbs are mostly Eastern Orthodox by their religion, while Croats are mostly Roman Catholic by their religion. And there have been then uh, inter-ethnic rivalries about uh, who should um, be the more dominant ethnic group, a most dominant ethnic group uh, of what is now the former Yugoslavia. Now, of course, we know that the former Yugoslavia's territories has been broken up uh, since the end of the Cold War, and as a result of the brutal civil war, uh, Yugoslav civil wars in Croatia, and especially Bosnia and Herzegovina, with genocide being committed against uh, many Bosnian Muslims and Croats, in the latter mentioned country. <clears throat> there is Slovenia from which country, the current US first lady or presidential wife, Melania Trump comes. There's Croatia, then there's Bosnia Herzegovina, there's Montenegro, then Serbia, North Macedonia, and then a state of limited international recognition, Kosovo. And Alexander I would govern Yugoslavia, the renamed kingdom, dictatorially or in an authoritarian way, until his tragic assassination by a Bulgarian-born terrorist, Mr. Vlado Chernozemsky, in Marseille, France, shortly after uh, Alexander I had arrived there for an official visit in October. 1934. Albanian missionary sister Agnes Gonja Boyaju, later known as Mother Teresa, arrived to Calcutta from Ireland to begin her work in India, and this charitable uh, ministry continued until she died in September 1997. 
On January the 1st, the first appearance of Hergé's Belgian comic book hero, Tintin, as a kind of fictional reporter or journalist, as Tintin in the land of the Soviets, Les Aventures de Tintin, Reporté au pays des Soviets, began serialization in the children's newspaper supplement Le Petit Vingtième, or the Small Twentieth. On January the 15th, Annal d'Histoire Économique et Sociale, or Annals of uh, the Economic and Social History, began uh, to be published in France. On January the 29th, All Quiet on the Western Front, literally translated uh, in the West, nothing new, Im Westen nichts Neues, by Mr. Erich Maria Remarque, was published in book form. Book form. Sorry. On February the 9th, Litvinov's pact was signed in Moscow by the Soviet Union, Poland, Estonia, Romania, and Latvia, who agreed not to use force to settle disputes between themselves. On February the 11th, Italy and the Vatican signed the Lateran Treaty to establish the Vatican City as an independent sovereign enclave within Rome, resolving the Roman question and ending the so-called Uh, captivity of the popes, uh, which had begun in 1870, when uh, Rome had become uh, the reunited Italy's capital. On March the 4th, 1929, Republican Herbert, Herbert Hoover was sworn in as the 31st U.S. president, having easily defeated his Democratic opponent, Governor Alfred Smith of New York, in November 1928. He had promised prosperity for all Americans, but tragically, his single term as U.S. president saw the Great Depression. Hoover would lose much of his reputation as an efficient uh, and compassionate administrator and humanitarian due to his refusal to directly help the unemployed and the other Americans impoverished by the Great Depression. He believed firmly in the rugged individualism concept and believed that uh, limiting the direct assistance of the federal government to the businesses would cause the help eventually to trickle down to the poor. Such critics of the late US President Ronald Reagan as the equally late or dead uh, US uh, House of Representatives uh, Speaker Tip O'Neill uh, accused in the 1980s uh, Reagan of having uh, borrowed economic ideas, unwise economic ideas from Herbert Hoover. The National Revolutionary Party or Partido Nacional Revolucionario, better known as PRI by its uh, acronym, was established in Mexico by ex-president Plutarco Elias Calles. Under a succession of names, it would hold, hold power in the country continuously until 2000. On April the 14th, the inaugural Monaco Grand Prix was won by William Grover Williams driving a Bugatti. On May the 16th, the first Academy Awards were presented in a 15-minute ceremony at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, honoring the best films of 1927 and 1928. Wings, uh, winning Best Picture, it had been first um, broadcast in 1927 or screened. Gerald Duffy, who had died already in 1928, had received, post uh, received posthumously the only Academy Award for Best Title Writing ever awarded, for his intertitles to the silent film The Private Life of Helen of Troy, premiered in 1927. On May the 31st, the British general or parliamentary election again returned a hung parliament without an overall majority, although the Labourites managed to win a plurality. The Liberals decided to support the Labourites, thus allowing 
Ramsay MacDonald to become Prime Minister for the second time. On June the uh, 3rd, the Treaty of Lima settled a border dispute between Peru and Chile in South America. On June the 7th, the Lateran Treaty making Vatican a sovereign state was ratified. On June the 8th, Ramsay MacDonald formed the second Labour government of Britain. On June the 27th occurred the first public demonstration of colour television by H. E. Ives and his colleagues at the Bell Telephone Laboratories in New York. The first images were a bouquet of roses and an American flag. A mechanical system was used to transmit 50-line color television images between New York and Washington. On July the 11th, in the Soviet Union, a secret decree of the Sovnarkom created the backbone of the Gulag system. On July the 24th, French Prime Minister Raymond Poincaré resigned for health reasons and was succeeded by Aristide Briand. The Kellogg-Briand uh, Pact, named after the United States Secretary of State or Foreign Minister Frank Kellogg and the French Foreign Minister at the time, Aristide Briand, went into effect. It renounced war as an instrument of foreign policy, but uh, the outbreak of the uh, Second World War, officially in September 1939, made it virtually a useless and symbolic agreement. On July the 27th, the Geneva Convention addressed the treatment of prisoners of war, and the Red Crescent was adopted as an additional emblem of the League of Red Cross Societies. The Red Crescent would base its work on the largely Muslim countries of um, Middle and uh, Middle East and Central Asia. From August the, August the 8th to 29th, the German rigid airship LZ-127 Graf Zeppelin or Count Zeppelin made a circumnavigation of the Northern Hemisphere east about out of Lakehurst, New Jersey, New, uh, United States, including the first non-stop flight of any kind across the Pacific Ocean from Tokyo, Japan, to Los Angeles, California, the United States. On August the 16th, the 1929 Palestine riots broke out between Palestinians and Jews in mandatory Palestine and continued until the end of August 1929 resulting in the deaths of 133 Jews and 116 Palestinians. On August the 20th, John Logie Baird's experimental 30-line television system was first transmitted by the British Broadcasting Corporation. On August the 31st, the Young Plan, which set the total World War I reparations owed by Germany at 26 billion 350 million US dollars of that time to be paid over a period of 58 and a half years. On September the 3rd, 1929, the Dow Jones Industrial Average of the New York Stock Exchange peaked at 381.17, a height that it would not reach again until November. 1954. On September the 17th, 1929, a coup ousted or forced to resign uh, Prime Minister Augustinas Voldemaras in Lithuania, or President Augustinas Voldemaras in Lithuania. The new president uh, became Antanas Smetona, who would hold power until the Soviet occupation, official occupation of Lithuania in June 1940. On October the 18th, 1929, on appeal from the Supreme Court of Canada on behalf of the famous five Canadian women in the landmark case, Edwards versus Canada, Attorney General, 
the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council in Britain, which remained as the um, highest appeals court of Canada until the Canadian Supreme Court received that role in 1949, announced that women are persons under the British North America Acts, which then constituted the uh, Federal Constitution of Canada and would do so until the passage of the Constitution Act uh, by the British Parliament in 1982, and thus eligible for, for appointment to the Senate of Canada. Between October the 24th and 29th, 1929, occurred the Wall Street crash of 1929. Three multi-digit percentage drops wiped out over 30 billion US dollars of that time from the New York Stock Exchange, 10 times greater than the annual budget of the US federal government at the time, and officially signaling the start of the Great Depression. On November the 15th, Atlantic, a film about the sinking of the RMS Titanic, was released in the UK, the first British sound on film movie uh, film, and in its simultaneously shot German language version, the first to be released in Germany. On September, I'm sorry, on December the 27th, 1929, Soviet General Secretary Joseph Stalin ordered the liquidation of the kulaks or enemies of state, enemies of the state as a class. On December the 28th occurred the Black Saturday in Samoa, Oceania. New Zealand colonial police killed 11 unarmed demonstrators, an event which led to the Mao movement to demand independence for Samoa. On December the 29th, the All India Congress in Lahore demanded Indian independence. It would be finalized in 1947. 